morning guys hello welcome back to another video um i've literally just woken up i'm so tired this morning i went to bed really early like i've been going to bed really early recently i can't lie i think i was probably asleep by like half ten um and then i set my alarm for like seven and i thought i'll get up really early i'll go to the gym i'll have a really productive day it's saturday today as well so i was like it'll be quite quiet in the gym i reckon um anyway and i woke up at seven and then i just fell straight back to sleep and then i got up at like eight had a drink of water and then i was like oh this bed's so comfy i'm so tired so then i fell back to sleep again and i've only just got up and it's half past nine so i've had like 11 hours sleep and i feel so tired like i think i've had too much sleep but anyway i've just got up i've made myself a coffee i've made my bed so i can no longer get back into it because i feel like that's half the problem sometimes like i could probably get up and i'd be fine but because my bed is so comfy and i'm like it's all cozy then I just end up falling back to sleep within like seconds so I'm up now I'm gonna have my coffee I'm gonna do my skincare routine because I need to moisturize my face it feels really dry um I'm gonna do that I'm then gonna get some workout stuff on and I am gonna go to the gym this morning I've got loads of stuff I need to do today and I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little Saturday with me a little day off show you guys what I'm getting up to voice I need some coffee right I need to go and wake up so I'm gonna do my skincare um and then yeah, bring you guys along for the day. So I hope you enjoy this video. Also guys, I haven't showed this on my vlog yet, but I actually got a new bed a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it's just like a, a white metal bed frame. And then it comes with this headboard, um, which is from Ikea. I do really, really like it. It's taken me a while to get used to it because it's not, it doesn't really look like how it was supposed to look in the photos. Um, the, like, the headboard is so big. Like, it literally takes up the entire wall. And it's just, like, it's two separate things. And they literally just, like, they just stand. Like, they just hover behind the bed. So it's not the greatest design, I'm going to say. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this bed because it looks kind of cute. And, yeah, it's a little update. So for my morning skincare, I do keep it really simple. I've literally just washed my face with um, plain water. And then I'm going to go in with some of this, which is um, collagen from Boots. I don't really know if it does anything or if I like it, but it just feels nice to apply to the skin. I've had it for ages, so I'm just trying to use it up. Um, yeah, excuse the orange hands. Um, yeah, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this for some hydration, because like I said, my skin's feeling really dry. I've also got a few like little spots at the moment. I've got one on my lip, which you can probably see, um, one on my chin, and then I've got one on my forehead as well. Um, and it's weird, I haven't had spots in like, oh, who's texting me I haven't had spots in a really long time like my skin's been pretty good lately um and I haven't had spots like this in ages but oh well we're just gonna roll with it it's not the end of the world um but then moisturizer I'm lip I'm gonna go with something so simple I'm just using my Nivea um moisturizer that's pretty much run out actually Nivea soft I've used this for years um it's just a good basic everyday moisturizer then I'm gonna go in with an SPF I think um just because it's getting a little bit sunnier now and i am going to be outside a little bit today so i feel like i should put a little spf on just to protect my skin i don't really know what to do because i want to go to the gym this morning um and i don't like going to the gym with like absolutely no makeup on just because i know it's not good for my skin to like work out with makeup on but i always see people i know and like it's a potential place to meet someone. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to go in looking awful and then I'll work out and I'll go all red and sweaty and horrible. So I do need to like, you know, try and look a little bit um, put together. I don't want to, I don't want to be going anywhere these days looking bad because I just think it will be sod's law that if I go out somewhere and I look really rough and I just don't make any effort, I'll meet someone and then they probably won't be interested because I'll look awful. So <laughs> I know it's probably a really stupid mindset, but it's, that is my mindset right now. I'm like, don't go anywhere looking bad just in case, or in case you like bump into someone you know, like just for me, I just can't, I can't go out with no makeup on. I wouldn't really go out with no makeup on like ever anyway. Um, so going to the gym just isn't really any different for me. Like, and then if I do see someone I know or like, I talk to someone in the gym and I've got no makeup, on. I will just go bright red. Like I am a person that goes so red and if I don't have any makeup on, then it gets even worse. Like, because I think, and then in my mind, 
I'm consciously like, oh God, I look awful. So then I go even more red. So it's better for everyone if I just put a little bit of makeup on. So I'm gonna keep it so simple. I'm literally just gonna put a little bit of the 17 um, foundation on. I really need to go and buy a new bottle of this because there's literally nothing left in it. This stuff is so sheer anyway, like it pretty much is just like a BB cream. But it's just a bit of something. And also my face is really pale compared to the rest of my body, as you can tell, because I fake tanned last night. I don't know why my hands have gone so orange, because I, I fake tanned and then I did wash my hands like an hour or so later, but it's still, they're still pretty orange, but it's fine. Once I've put like heavier makeup on later, it'll be fine. Right, that's a little bit of that on. Stunning. Then I need to go in with a bit of concealer, just a little bit under my eyes. Even though I shouldn't have any dark circles because I've had so much sleep. Just love sleep. And I feel like, <clears throat> oh God, my voice. I feel like in the evenings, I do just get to a point where I'm like, I'm bored, I've done everything now. I've watched a bit of TV, I've got Meet Me Out in her ball. I've read some of my book, I've had a cup of tea. I'm like, why would I just, you know, I'll just end up staying up on my phone, which isn't good. So I just go to bed instead. Like, I go to bed so early. I'm also still on the reading hype. Like, I'm doing so well with reading. Um, I started a new book literally like two weeks ago. And I'm, I'm, I've almost finished it, which for me is just unheard of. Um, so yeah, I'm doing really, really well with reading, which is good. Um, so as always guys, if you've got any book recommendations or things you need, you think I like desperately need to read, please just do let me know because I'm trying to read at least one book every month now, if not two. I feel like I'll try and get to two during the summer. Um, so yeah, give me any book recommendations. I just need something that's going to like grip me. Like I don't really mind the genre. I tend to read like your classic kind of like, ch not chick flick, but like a, like a romantic book with like a bit of a love story in it and that's what I tend to read but I'm very 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 open to reading something different because I feel like sometimes those kind of books don't grip me and I need to be gripped to continue reading a book otherwise I get bored so yeah do let me know your book suggestions down below oh also I got a new tattoo look I don't think I've shown these on my YouTube channel have I I might have shown it in my last video actually I can't remember what I'm just all over the place these days like I really just don't remember what I've told anyone like my life's a little bit crazy there's a lot of stuff going on um which is good and i'm very pleased with that because i get bored if my life's boring but i forget what i've told everyone but yeah i got a new tattoo we all got a little star on our wrist at work and then i also got a little um little lightning bolt as well which i love that's my favorite one he's so cute um right now i've just done blusher i'm gonna do a tiny bit of highlighter literally just like a little bit like that. Then I'm gonna do brows and a little bit of mascara, but I'm not gonna show you that because you guys have seen it before and it's boring. Um, so yeah, I'll chat to you guys when I finish getting ready. Okay, so I'm ready for the gym. I've just put on um, the same workout stuff I usually do. I have like a few different pairs of workout leggings, but I always go for the same ones. Um, so I've just got on these like, I can't really see them, black leopard print ones. And then I've got on sports bra which is so old I really need to get a new one um and I've just shoved a hoodie on got my hair up and yeah I need to eat something before I go so I'm literally just gonna have a banana because I would have protein shake but I feel like I've just finished drinking that coffee I don't want to then have a protein shake and have loads of like liquid in my stomach so I'm gonna eat a banana and then I'll have a protein shake when I get back um yeah I've literally got one left I hate eating breakfast like I really do hate it um and I know it's not even early, it's literally 10 o'clock. But to me, I've not been up long, so I still feel sick. I just always feel sick in the mornings. I never want to eat. Like, I have a coffee, and I love that. That goes down really well. But anything else, just not for me. Yeah, right, I'm going to eat this, which I'm not going to film because that's kind of gross. Right, guys, I'm off to the gym. I'm not taking my camera just because I ain't taking this into a gym situation. That's too embarrassing. Um, I'll see if I can film some clips on my phone for you guys. <laughs> Um, 
I can't stand too far back because I've actually taken off my gym trousers. But yeah, I cut my workout a little bit short. I did a 30 minute workout. I usually try and do like 45 minutes, but it was actually really busy in the gym and all the like machines that I wanted to use were taken and I couldn't be bothered to wear it around. So I cut it a bit short, but anyway, I still had a good workout. I'm still sweaty, I'm smelly, I need a shower. So I'm gonna quickly jump in the shower. I'm literally just gonna put my hair up in a little claw clip. Um, and then I'm gonna get in the shower. I feel like I probably should wash my hair, but I can't really be bothered because I've got something I need to do at one o'clock. I need to go back out and that's only in two hours. So we don't really have time to wash my hair. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna put some dry shampoo in it. It's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna have a shower and then I'll be back out and then I'm probably gonna have something to eat because I'm quite hungry. Okay, so I'm clean, I'm showered. I've put on some comfy clothes and I'm gonna put a load of washing on. So I thought I'd do a little time lapse and show you guys some housework that I'm doing because Everyone's got to do boring stuff. I've got a load of washing. I don't know where it all comes from, but there's a lot of stuff here. So yeah, I'll put wash on. So I'm gonna make myself a little protein shake. Um, I got my protein shaker. Do you know what? I actually haven't had one of these in a while. I was having them religiously every single day um, and then I ran out of protein and I only bought some new protein yesterday. So I'm excited to have this. I haven't had it in a while. Um, I'm using the, oh my God, I've got so many. Look at all of these. Right, so that's my empty one. Don't know why that's still in the cupboard. Um, I then bought vanilla, the same brand, um, for nutrition. I bought the vanilla one hated it the texture was really gross um so i've now bought the salted caramel chocolate salted caramel one again because i know that this one's nice it is quite expensive so if you've got any other like protein recommendations do let me know the reason i have this one um is purely because it's got like all of your daily vitamins and minerals and stuff in it as well so it means i don't have to take supplements i literally just have this in the morning um and then i know that i've had like a lot of protein and i've also had my vitamins and stuff so if you've yeah, got any other recommendations, let me know because I'm, I like kind of want to try different ones. This is the only protein I've really ever tried. Um, so yeah, I really like the flavor of this one though. So what I'm going to do is get some coconut milk. I'm going to use coconut. I would usually use oat, but I've got this in the fridge that I need to use. So hopefully it tastes nice. Right, I'm going to do like that much coconut milk and then some water. Um, and then I'm going to do two tablespoons of the protein. Um, I don't know what to have for my lunch. I've got like leftover stuff from dinner last night, but I don't know if I fancy that. Or I could have like, I could have avocado and eggs. Yeah, that's good. It is a little bit grainy actually. I don't know, I don't know why. The other packet of that flavour wasn't. Okay, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. I need to, actually, I need my phone. Um, so something exciting I'm doing in a bit, actually. I'll tell you guys about it now. So yesterday I popped into town and I went and got myself a new phone, which is so exciting. I have had the same phone for like almost three years now, which I know isn't like that bad, um, but considering I use my phone every single day for work and I'm on it like 24 seven, um, it was about time I got a new one and also I've run out of storage on this phone like it's just getting a bit old like the camera isn't great on it anymore so yeah I went and got a new phone yesterday this is my old one um and I need to take the new one which is in here um I've got an appointment at Apple at one o'clock so I'm gonna go and basically get them to like help me set it up and transfer everything over and then they also take my old phone and give me some money for it so yeah I've got that to happen at one o'clock um but this is the new phone I'll show you guys a bit scared it looks so like brand new and lovely the camera look the camera's like really stick out of the back of it so i feel like i need to get a case that's like chunky so that they don't stick out um but anyway i'm expecting good things from this it's the iphone 14 pro the woman in the shop said that this has the best camera i basically said to her like i just want the best camera that's all i care about to be honest and i need loads of storage i think this one's got like a lot what is it it's like 512 gigabytes my current phone's only got 65 gigabytes so i think i should be set with that one so i'm making some lunch i'm actually not that hungry now i've had that protein shake um but i've got half an avocado 
and then making some cheesy scrambled eggs. Um, I know this is so random and I should probably have like toast or something with it, but I'm actually just not really hungry now. Um, and I can always have a snack later before I go out. So yeah, I'm just having a quick little easy lunch. I need to clean up this mess. So I've got my lunch, looks very minimal on the plate. Um, like I said, that protein chip made me feel a bit sick. I usually love that flavor. Oh God, oh God. Um, yeah, I usually love that flavor, but maybe it was making it with coconut milk. I don't know, but it was just so grainy and like really wasn't vibing with the texture. So I'm not hungry now, but I'm gonna make myself eat this. Um, I'm gonna catch up with a little bit of stuff on my laptop, like some emails and stuff. I've got bills to pay. I've got some emails to reply to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that done. And then it's already 10 past 12. So I'll then wash up from lunch and then I might read a little bit of my book and then I need to go and have my appointment at Apple to get my phone set up. And then I'm doing some exciting things this afternoon, which I'll show you. This is actually quite nice. A little light lunch. Right. I'm gonna do some emails. So I'm just waiting for the washing to finish before I head out. I just need to quickly hang it up and then I can go. Um, before I go to Apple to set up my phone, I actually need to go to another shop as well um, because I am in the process of trying to find a dress to wear to my friend Sean's wedding. Now I've had such a problem with this. Um, I've never known it be so hard to try and find a dress or find like an outfit. Um, I don't even think I'm being fussy, but basically I obviously need something that's petite because I'm so sure I can't just buy like a normal full length dress because it'll be too sh um, too long for me. So my options are quite slim. I tried ASOS, found a few things that I liked, but then they were out of stock in my size. Um, and then I tried a few other websites, couldn't really find anything that I liked or that was in my size, which is so annoying. I hate it when that happens. Um, and then I decided to go into quiz in town and I did an online order for quiz as well, ordered two dresses, kept one as like a backup because I do really like it. But then when I picked up that order, I also ended up buying three more dresses. I'm gonna really quickly show you them even though I am actually returning these three because there's something slightly wrong with each one. Um, so the first one I got is this, which is actually a play suit, but that's fine with me because it, I wanted a short dress and I feel like having it as a play suit just means that I'm not gonna end up flashing people and I'm just gonna feel a lot more comfortable in it. But this one doesn't actually fit, the, like, the neck bit's a bit weird. But it's so cute, look at this. I should probably try them all on and show you, but I can't really be bothered. Um, it's just a really cute little little play suit with a gorgeous little orange and blue pattern on it and I love this um, and it looks so nice but number one I feel like it's not really wedding-y, I don't know why. Number two I feel like I look quite young in it, which isn't what I want, it's not the vibe I'm going for. And three, the like, the neck bit is one of those funny like baggy necks and if you bend over you can literally just see your whole entire boob. So that one's no good so that's going back. I then had a similar issue with this one, which again is short and I love it. I love the pattern. I love everything about it. Um, this one did fit a lot better because the neckline was tight. Looks like this. And then it's got little bits that like tie around it. But the problem with this one is that I just felt so young in it. And I felt like I looked like a teenager. And obviously I'm, I'm 26 pretty much. So um, I'm actually 26 the day before wedding. So... I want to look nice and grown up and this just made me look too young so then I kind of thought right I actually don't want a short dress I think a short dress is going to make me look young and I need like a longer dress to look a little bit more mature so this was an option and I love this this is probably my favorite out of all of them but unfortunately it's really tight around like my rib cage so it's not really the com most comfortable dress and also it's got that same kind of baggy neckline i think it's called like a cow cow lick cow something neck um this has got the same and so every time i bend over you literally just completely see right down it which isn't really a vibe but the rest of the dress i'm obsessed with look at this i have to go a bit further back because it's longer um it's like a is it a midi dress is that the right term but it's so gorgeous so it's like tight fitting all up here and then it kind of has like one bit that's shorter than the other and it all ruches up so then one of your legs stick out and I love this and I really wished it fit because I just think the colours are beautiful and I really love it but it just doesn't fit and I just don't feel comfortable in it so I'm going to return it even though that makes me really sad um, so I'm going to return these three and then I actually need to go on a bit of a hunt in town to see if I can find 
something else. Um, but it is a Saturday, so I know that town's probably going to be really busy, which isn't ideal. I will show you guys my backup dress, actually. So this one is also from Quiz. Um, and I really, really do like it. And it fits well and I feel comfortable in it. But I just feel like it's more of a summer holiday dress. Like, I can see myself on holiday wearing it. Don't really know if it's, like, an English wedding vibe. Um, but it looks like this. So it's got, like, little gold gold chain straps and then it's this really pretty um kind of like orange pink and purple long dress and it's it's not fully long it's like again like a midi or maxi no midi midi length um it has got a bit of a baggy top bit but it's slightly tighter than the other one so this one does fit a lot better than the other one um and i did feel comfortable in this so i thought i'll keep this if i can't find anything else i will wear this um but hopefully I can find something else today. Anyway, I've just had the washing go off, so I'm gonna go and put that away, and then I'm gonna head into town. So I'm back home. That was successful, but also unsuccessful. So I returned the three dresses um, to Quiz. I tried on another dress in Quiz, and it was the same pattern as like the leopard print one that I really like, um, but it was like a one shoulder dress. I tried to show you guys in the fitting room, but I don't think I did a very good job of it. I forgot to show you it on. Um, so I kind of, I feel like maybe I should buy that one. I don't know, I might buy it online. Um, I looked in Primark, it was far too busy. I looked in New Look, tried a dress on, hated it. Um, and then I couldn't find one anywhere else. So I'm still without a dress for the wedding. Um, but I did pick up this in New Look because I thought it was really cute. It's actually a size 12 and I'm normally like a size six, but this fitted, it was the only one that I saw in New Look and I tried it on and it was really cute. It's like a little green cardigan that like ties up at the front. It's really sweet, so I thought I'd get that. It's quite expensive for what it was. It's £24 for like a cardigan. They've sorted out my new phone for me. It's all got all of my old stuff on it um, and set up and then they've taken away my old one and given me, I got £200 for it, which wasn't bad. Um, I just now need to wait for like my apps to finish downloading. So like WhatsApp still hasn't downloaded, so I can't go on that. Um, and then I tried to go on Instagram and like everything is obviously logged out. So I'm going to spend a bit of time just like logging back into everything. I'm going out tonight with some friends um, for dinner and some drinks. So I'm gonna get a bit glammed up. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. So maybe you guys can help me decide an outfit later. Um, I've got a bit of a headache as well, which isn't good. So I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna do some bits on my phone um, and I'll chat to you in a little bit. So I've just been on FaceTime to my mum for a little bit um, having a little catch up. My phone has finally switched over and everything is back on here. So I've got my new phone. I'm a bit scared because I haven't got a case for it yet. Um, but I didn't want to buy one in town because I think there's one online that I really want to get. So I'm just going to have to be really careful with it and hope I don't break it. Um, I need to head back into town now because I need to go to Boots. And I need to go and get some dry shampoo, some more foundation, some false eyelashes and some deodorant. Because I need all of those bits for this evening to get ready. So I'm going to head out now. Um, and then I will chat to you guys when I get back. Show you a bit of what I'm doing to get ready. <sighs> I'm back. I managed to just get a few bits. Um, I didn't pick up anything that I didn't need really. What's going on here? um deodorant dry shampoo i just got the cheapest one i don't know if it's going to be any good um i then got another one of my favorite foundations because i'd run out some false eyelashes in case i want to wear any tonight and then the only thing that wasn't on my list that i did pick up was this which is an eyebrow pencil from 17 i thought i'd give it a go um because i love everything else from 17 and it was so cheap it was literally like two pound fifty and the eyebrow pencil that I use at the moment is quite expensive, so I thought I'd give this one a go. So I might actually start getting ready soon, because I think I'm meant to be meeting the girls at like half five, so I'm gonna send them a message now and see if they are also getting ready. Cool, right, I'm gonna do that. I don't, I don't really need another shower. I've already had a shower today, but I feel like I'll be all right. I've just got to choose an outfit, which I feel like could take me a while. So I'm going to remove all my makeup um, and like redo that from scratch just so that it feels nice and fresh on my skin. Okay, guys, so my makeup is done. I'm now going to do my hair. I need to put some dry shampoo in it. I'm not going to lie because it's a little bit greasy. I was going to wash it last night um, and then I was lazy and didn't bother. And I thought I kind of justified it in my head by thinking like if I had freshly washed hair tonight whatever I do to it will just fall out. Like if my hair's clean and I style it, it just drops out instantly. So I thought I'll just have it a bit greasy, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and do like a little, a little wave in it. So not curly, but like almost like it's been plaited, but I'm gonna do it with um, hair straighteners. So I'm gonna attempt to give that a go. 
Let me show you what I mean. So kind of like this. So you do like one way, the other way. Kind of like crimping it, I guess. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Kind of like that, but all over. My hair's got so long, I feel like I need a haircut. Right guys, I'm just messaging my friends to see what they're wearing because I don't normally care and I don't normally do that. I normally just wear what I want, but I feel like this is a bit too summery. So I've got this like little blue dress on, which is from Zara from last summer. And then I've put black blazer over the top, but and then I've got my black boots on. But I just don't know if it's a bit much, I feel a bit summery. I was gonna wear this, but I also feel like this is too summery. This is a new dress from Zara. Um, I then thought maybe this skirt bit actually is a bit too big for me. And then apart from that, these are all just trousers and I was going to wear this skirt, which I wore out last weekend, but I don't want to wear it two weekends in a row. So I don't know, I'm having a bit of a, a bit of a mare. Um, my hair's done. It sort of didn't really do what I wanted it to. It sort of dropped out as soon as I made it wavy and also it looks super greasy. I've put dry shampoo in it, but still not vibe. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what I'm wearing. Guys, look at the mess I've made. <laughs> um, this is... Another option, I've got on the same skirt that I said I wore last weekend. Um, and then this little top, but I've tried to like tuck it in so that it looks more like a bodysuit because otherwise it kind of, it's like this and then it looks a bit weird. Oh, I don't know. I've just put some perfume on. I've gone for this one from Zara, Cashmere Rose, which is really nice. And then I've also put some of this on my legs, which is also from Zara. It smells really good, it smells like holiday. Um, and I've just put a little bit of oil on my legs and then on my, chest area as well. Um, I've chosen my outfit, so I'll show you. Let's go back into the bedroom. Um, I've gone for this top, the little brown checkered one, and then I've just put this black blazer over the top. I'm not like entirely happy with the outfit, but I just think it'll do. And I don't really wanna look too summery because it's not actually summer yet. So I've just sorted out my bag ready to take up with me. I'm going for this little cream one. Um, and I actually don't have room in it to take my camera, unfortunately. Yes, I'm gonna say bye. Remember to like the video, remember to subscribe if you're new here, leave me a comment and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!